Good morning. Yeah, so I completely took the Iquitas off and the Veritas is starting to rub off. That makes me very disappointed with these temporary tattoos. It said last seven days. Even while in water and whatever. <sighs> Lies. That's okay. <laughs> um, I'm on my way to theory class. I did not read all of the things we had to read. I read a, just about half of the material that we were supposed to read for today, but it's really okay because we still have like half the class. We talk about the material we were supposed to read and then the second half uh, people present their ideas for their final papers. So that's what I did last class. So. We don't even spend the entire class talking about our homework and stuff, so it's not that big of a deal. But yeah, it's Thursday. That's exciting. I just got out of class and oh my gosh, it was really... Well, a girl basically had a seizure in her class. It was only maybe like 20, 30 minutes into class and all of a sudden there was like this great big noise, like something fell, and it turned out she fell out of her chair, fell on the floor, and started having a seizure. And she was like, you know, we uh, all moved the desk, and she was like really close to me too. Not next to me, but close to me. And it was very strange. I've never seen a seizure in real life before, so it was like kind of unreal to see this happening. And like, of course, you can't do anything. You can't help, you can't really hold them down, because you know, whatever. So it was very, like, it felt weird to just watch this girl have a seizure five feet in front of me. Not even five feet, like, it was very bizarre. So of course the whole class was kind of shaken up. Um, one of the girls called the, the girl's uh, emergency contact number and I think, like I heard sirens, but I don't know if they came for her or if it was just the other woman who came to help her. But we left the classroom and we went into the lounge and we sat on couches and like we didn't even finish our discussion, we just kind of went right into the student paper presentation thing. It was very strange though. I am glad I don't have seizures. I just finished eating lunch and I didn't write anything at all for NaNoWriMo yesterday. I know I'm bad again, but I was too busy trying to do all my own work. So, I think it's 2.18 right now, and I think I'm going to try to do a 1K one hour. So at 2.30 to 3.30, I will write at least a thousand words. I'm going to try because there's not a lot of action going on, so I'm going to have to start putting some random things into the story. But, oh well. Yeah, so that's to catch up. Since I didn't write yesterday, I'll at least write a thousand words now, and then my mom is coming. She's gonna pick me up and we're going to, I think she said Kohl's and Target because she has to buy warm clothes because it's supposed to get cold tomorrow, which I'm looking forward to. But we're going shopping, which sucks. But then after I get home, hopefully I'll be able to write another thousand words or, or more. I'll actually need more than a thousand when I'm home and I can catch up with my word count. Or something. I just kind of amazed myself. Well, I'm on Twitter, so I was uh, like, I did the 1K one hour with another lady, and I got a total in that one hour of writing of 1,948 words. I'm kind of upset that I didn't get 2,000, and if I hadn't taken that five minute break, I could have so made to 2,000. So, my next goal is to get to 2,000 words in an hour. And I think what did it for me is that I introduced a character on a whim and like I spent a long time describing her and what she was wearing and stuff. And at the end I was describing like this piece of technology. It was basically like hand scanning, but trying to bring that to steampunk was interesting. So I spent a little bit just describing that now. But I'm super proud of myself. I'm totally gonna catch up today. To where I need to be and more hopefully. Well the author that I was doing the 1k one hour with asked if we could go again at 4 and it's 3.57 now and I told her I can only do like a half hour 
So my mom's gonna call, but I'm gonna try to get at least a half hour done and see how much more, how many words I can do. Hopefully, I surpassed fifteen thousand. So that was yesterday's goal was fifteen thousand. So I really only need. Well, I'm at fifteen thousand three hundred seventy-two words right now. So I, uh, one thousand. I just really need a thousand more to catch up. I don't think I can get a thousand in thirty minutes, even though I did it this past time, but. I don't think there's as much going on this time. Whatever. We'll see. I'll let you know how I do. Okay, Coles. We could do this. Mmm, <coughs> I sound lovely. <coughs> this is what I get for singing for the first time in a week. When I'm sick. And singing very high. Singing very high, yes. It was not, not a very wise decision. Well, you have fun with clothes. I'm gonna go look at juice. First of all, really Christmas music. But a lot of boots. I don't really like any of them. So I'm gonna go look at the flip flops. Cause that's what I really need. These are falling apart. I sewed, I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, you can see the red. I just sewed the chains back onto the thing. That is not acceptable. Anyway, those are our neighbors across the way and they have all of their Christmas lights out already. That's a little ridiculous. But anyway, I came home to, where's the other book? Did I leave the book that I just got out there? Yep. Well, I came home to this, which this is the reader that came two weeks ago, one week ago. I don't know. Whenever he came, he came to read. And then I also have this book, um, which is Julia, who came before Nick. And also, I have to open this. And a second Tobuscus t-shirt. It's like Christmas, yeah? I'm home, which means it's time to burn some incense. Ah, uh, it smells so good. It's uh, dragon's blood tonight. I actually used up the uh, last one of this package. So, yay! I burned my way through <coughs> through a package of incense, and it's delicious. It's probably my favorite scent. Dragon's blood. So good. Well, I am going to watch some videos. I might write a little bit more. It's almost 11.30. So, I mean, I've, I've written over 3,000. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention, um, I wrote for 30 minutes before at four o'clock and I wrote about I think it was 1,090 words so I think I did pretty well so I wrote I've written over 3,000 words today but I might write just a little bit more to finish the scene a little bit but and tomorrow I'm not sure exactly what I'm doing but I know I brought all my scuba gear home because I need to wash it out with a hose not in the shower like I did last time because it's still all nasty and it's got to be washed. But other than that, I really don't have any plans. I have to figure out what I'm writing for my experimental poetry. But, oh well. Um, so, I think that's about it for tonight. I am going to smell my delicious dragon's blood and go to bed. So, good night guys.